I welcome you to the top 10 channel, subscribe to the channel, put a like, and we start the next top. Ten Heroic Cats Who Saved Lives When it comes to pet popularity, dogs have clearly won the publicity war. Dogs are man's closest friend, whilst cats are aloof creatures who only allow humans to pet them on rare occasions. Humans accept cats enough to let them poop in a tray in their houses, despite their aloof behavior. Occasionally, however, a cat will return their owners by demonstrating that feline adoration is real. Their professions of love can be almost heroic at times. The following are 10 cats who have saved people's lives. Warming a baby. When a little infant, less than 12 weeks old, was abandoned by his parents in Russia, he had a slim chance of survival. The weather was bitterly cold, and it appeared that the infant might not make it through the night. A local cat named Masha, on the other hand, saved the baby. Many people are afraid of having a baby and a cat in the same house because a cat may decide that the infant's face is an ideal place to sit. In the case of Masha, they were able to save her by climbing on top of her. Perhaps the fact that the infant was in a box made it even more appealing to the cat. Masha's warmth kept the youngster alive, and she was able to attract the attention of a neighbor by meowing loudly. The child was taken to the hospital and cared for while his parents were sought. Masha was showered with food and petted by inhabitants of the adjoining apartment building. <laughs> Cancer Finder Dogs have long been trained to detect things that humans are incapable of detecting. They've even been used in medicine, where a dog's nose can detect the chemical markers of diseases ranging from Parkinson's to malaria to cancer. It's a little more difficult to train a cat. However, a cat can occasionally demonstrate this incredible talent on its own. Sue McKenzie had lived with a cat named Tom for 20 years, but he had never shown her any affection. Tom, on the other hand, began to swat at the back of his owner's neck and meow loudly one day. She took her elderly cat to the vet since he was showing signs of disease. When the vet detected nothing wrong with Tom, it was suggested that Sue might be in need of assistance. A scan found a tumor that was malignant. Sue was successfully treated, but she was given a stern lesson about always listening to her cat by the physicians. Sue had no idea when she brought the young wanderer into her house that he would save her life. <laughs> Diabetes Detector One of the most rewarding things a human can do is to save an animal. Not only do you provide a home for another living being, but the animal also provides companionship and can benefit your mental and physical health. Walter, Hazel Parkin's rescue cat, has saved her life more than 50 times. Hazel has diabetes, and her blood sugar levels can drop dangerously low during the night while she sleeps. When Walter notices this, possibly through sensing chemical changes, he hits her across the face to rouse her asleep. This enables her to address low blood sugar before it becomes life-threatening. Hazel had purchased a puppy with the intention of teaching it to alert her if she was in danger. The dog was ineffective in this role, and Walter now sits by Hazel's bedside at night, ready to pounce. <laughs> Seizure sensor. Cats aren't always the gentlest of physicians. It is not common medical practice for a doctor to bite a patient who is going to have a seizure. Blake, on the other hand, is known for biting his owner. Glenn Shalman suffers from a variety of ailments that might cause severe seizures at any time. While he may be able to identify signals of an impending seizure while sleeping, a seizure could be fatal. However, when he adopted Blake, he discovered that the young cat was warning him of an impending attack by biting his toes. Glenn is currently the oldest person ever documented due to his combination of ailments, which can be attributed in part to his feline companion's careful care. Blake was not taught to defend his sleeping owner, but he has proven to be a dependable nurse. Dogfighter. Dogs, despite their status as man's best friend, can occasionally turn on people. A dog bite can be dangerous for anyone, but it is especially dangerous for children. Jeremy, a four-year-old boy with autism, may have suffered serious injuries when he was assaulted by a dog. Scrappy, a neighbor's dog, 
grabbed Jeremy's leg and began shaking him violently as he rode his bike outside his house. Tara, Jeremy's household cat, literally leapt into action at that point. She took a swing at the dog. The dog raced back to his house, turning tail. Jeremy had seven stitches, but his injuries could have been far more serious. Tara was a stray who had followed the family home one day from the park. Tara has since gained popularity and acclaim as a result of her bravery against the larger dog. In addition to other prizes, she has thrown out the first pitch at a baseball game and June 3rd has been designated as Tara the Hero Cat Day. Fire Alarm When a fire broke out in a family's home in the middle of the night, it was their cat bandit, not the fire alarm, that awoke the sleeping family member. Bandit dashed into the owner's bedroom and scratched her awake. A cat's scratch would normally upset most people, but Bandit's owners had reason to rejoice. Their house and lives were saved because they were able to summon a fire truck. The family's other three dogs, four cats, four kittens, as well as their hamsters and gerbils, were less helpful in their rescue. The animals and people in the house were all rescued. The billowing smoke in the house might have suffocated everyone within if they hadn't been awoken by Bandit. The local fire department praised Bandit's bravery, but recommended that people invest in fire alarms rather than relying on their pets to keep them safe. <laughs> Caller 911. In some cases, a cat will literally call for assistance. When Gary Rochison fell out of his wheelchair at home, he had no method of calling for help because he couldn't reach the phone. Despite this, cops arrived and were able to assist him. The mystery was how the cops had known to show up. A 911 call had been received, but no one was on the other end. When they called the number back, they received no response, so they decided to double check the caller's address to ensure that everything was in order. Tommy the cat was discovered near to the phone at that point. Tommy's owner had tried to educate him how to phone 911 in an emergency, but he didn't think it had stuck. Given his owner's illness, Tommy had 911 on speed dial, which made things easier for him. Tommy saved the day with a single button press. A good heart. Claire Nelson took a risk when she adopted Rusty, a cat. Most folks had passed the cat by because it was rather elderly and they were looking for a nicer kitten. Rusty, on the other hand, would repay his new owner practically immediately. When she started feeling a little under the weather, Rusty began acting suspiciously. Rusty, who is normally quite placid like most cats, got anxious and refused to leave her side. When Nelson tried to go asleep, the cat jumped up on her chest and refused to let her. Nelson ultimately decided to go to the doctor after being unable to sleep and still feeling unwell. She became distressed while waiting for a bus and dialed 911. Nelson had suffered a heart attack and required emergency surgery, according to doctors. She may have gone to bed and never woke up if Rusty hadn't made a fuss. <laughs> Crimean Tom. Russia fought an alliance of the British Empire, France, and the Ottomans in the Crimean War in the 1850s. During the conflict, the Russians who controlled Sevastopol were besieged for nearly a year. When the Allied troops eventually took control of the city, they discovered that there were very few supplies remaining to support them. Tom, a stray cat, stepped in at that point. Lieutenant William Gare was given orders to search the city for any remaining food. When he saw Tom, he was heading a search of cellars. Tom appeared to be extraordinarily plump for a cat who had just escaped a year-long siege. Gare reasoned that Tom had to know where there were a lot of mice, and where there were mice, there had to be food. Tom aided the British troops in avoiding famine by leading them to sufficient provisions on multiple occasions. Gare brought Tom back to Britain with him as a reward for his help in saving the soldiers. Tom did not live long, but Gare had him stuffed and kept as a tribute to his valor. Although it is unknown whether the cat now housed in the Imperial War Museum is truly Crimean Tom, his legend continues on. Saving a baby. Gatabella, the cat, appears to be headed for greatness. Gatabella is a catwoman translation, and when she saw a baby in danger, she jumped in to save the day. 
The cat jumped on infant Samuel as he crept towards a steep set of steps, attempting to push him away from the edge. Gatabella can be seen rushing up to Samuel and holding his back in an attempt to pull him away in a video of the rescue. When that doesn't work, she leaps in front of him and pushes him backwards with her paws. The infant takes a seat, and Gatabella appears to be relieved that he is safe. Cats are, after all, cats. Gatabella pounces on the baby and bats him around a little after Samuel is safe. Most internet versions of the video have that part edited out because smacking a youngster after saving it isn't exactly the norm. Subscribe to the channel and like it, there are still many interesting stories ahead.